specific details of different uh, techniques. So the first technique I'm going to show you is the newer version uh, with um, a pre-drill, screws, here's some screws, and some dowels. And then the second one I'll show you is more of the traditional method of putting in a filler in, and we'll cover that next. All right, so uh, we're going to do the new version with the dowels method first. So I already put in the filler backer and the filler backer has a dowel hole. So we're gonna drill the filler backer. Okay. It's a good idea to pre-drill. Yeah. And then once you pre-drill, you can screw in easier. Okay. And you do that in the top bottom uh, if you want, in the middle as well. And then uh, we'll show you next, the next step on how to install the filler front now. We installed the backer. This is the front. The front you can tell because um, it's going to have edging all the way around, whereas the backer is just a raw piece of matching material. The important thing to note is the fillers will say filler left, filler right from us. Now you want to put the fillers on the right side because the holes are off center. Uh, and the reason for that is we, we give half inch of trim on every filler, whether it's required or not. So suppose you ordered a two inch filler, you'll receive a two and a half inch filler. So this is the side you trim off to fit to the wall. And then basically all you do for this version is you put the dowel in, show how to put the dowels in and put the front on. Okay, hit it. All right, so what you would wanna do is take a dowel, tap it in. Now ideally, you would wanna tap the dowels in before installing it, um, just to avoid any damage. And then once you have the dowels in, the drill hole is specifically depth on both sides to leave an eighth inch gap. The reason why you would leave an eighth inch gap is because all the doors with the hinges or the drill guides kick the door out an eighth of an inch. So the filler, in order to keep the plane of the door and the filler uh, equal, you would wanna leave the eighth inch. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line the holes again with the, um, with the dowels. And if I can find them and then you just kind of push them together and if you got to kind of persuade it now I'm not going to tap this whole thing in just yet because what I want to show you is I want to show you how to tap it in with the drawer or a drawer front in so on the next one I'll I'll tap it in complete and flush all right, so we put this drawer front in. This is a the trash can we were showing from previous videos. And as you can see, the drawer is exactly parallel. So this is out a little bit. So the best way to do it is actually take a piece of scrap and then tap them flush. Tap it flush, so now that's the best way to install it is everything's plain, aligned and plain. And the thing about the fillers is we keep the fillers level to the uh, top reveal. The reason why we do that is when you put a countertop on, the countertop line carries without having the countertop installer do anything. Sorry, my bad. Now typically on a stone top, it will drop a little bit and tighten up the reveal a little bit like that. But we use a 3 8 so that your stone installer is not gonna have any problems putting the finished top on. And now we'll do uh, the other side and show you the other method. So I'm showing you the tools you're gonna need for the more traditional method where you pre-drill, you screw in the filler, then you put uh, either 3M adhesive dots you can get from Home Depot. Uh, I have this uh, foam double-sided tape. Um, and I'll show you how to use that. It's essentially the same way as using a 3M squares. The most important part is you want the foam tape, whatever tape you decide to use, to be at least one eighth of an inch thick. And then the foam tape holds the, the front filler in place until the panel adhesive dries. So that's what the panel this is for. So you can use panel adhesive, you can use caulking, you can use silicone. Um, so I'm gonna show you both methods. All right, guys, so the second version is we you pre-install the backer just like normal, flush with the top. Uh, we're not using any of the dowels, so this is double-sided tape, foam tape, that's about an eighth inch thick. 
on this one i'm not going to demo the whole install but basically what you do is you take off the other side of the adhesive and you would put the panel adhesive on this whole way once you did that then you would stick the front on and then once the front got stuck on the double-sided tape holds the part in place until the panel adhesive dries right and uh, basically you kind of just adjust it like that all right so remember the eighth gap i was talking about so that's the eighth gap that's remains now um many of you are like it's just a blank space and that's fine that's what's technically called a shadow line and you ever you never really see it and there's no real reason to kind of filler it and what that allows you to do is uh, this method allows you to put in the front without having to worry about um you know adjusting it or having holes in the front and then you can also remove it or you can tune it up a lot easier